guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing my January favorites with you. This is actually one of my favorite videos to do of the year because it means we've finally got rid of January and we're out of that month, which nobody's really fond of, but I'm super happy to finally be going into February. It's also kind of not, I don't really love February that much either, but it's a nice short month. It's got Valentine's Day in it, which is nice. And then we start getting to March, which from March all the way through to the end of the year, um, I really, really like. So this video is going to be my January favourites. I've got some makeup, I've got some random little bits as well, and I'm going to continue to start sharing with you my favourite YouTubers. And I want you guys to do the same. So I love discovering new YouTubers, and I also quite like discovering slightly smaller ones as well, just because I can relate to them a little bit better. I don't know if you guys feel the same, but um, not saying that if I had like half a million subscribers I would be over the moon but still I find it quite relatable um, I find it easier and more relatable to watch people that um, are probably a bit more like me work full time and, and try to do YouTube alongside of it as well and kind of share stuff that I can actually afford to buy um, so yeah please let me know of any YouTubers you think I should be checking out down below but before I go into that let's get started so I can share with you guys what I've been loving throughout January so first up, I'm actually going to be showing some perfume with you. And these two perfumes that I'm going to be showing you are ones that I actually got at Christmas, so the presents. Um, and these are, it's these two. So one of them is the Jo Malone Blackberry and Bay. This is the 30ml? Yeah. This is by far my favourite Jo Malone scent of all. Candle-wise, perfume-wise, whatever it is, this is my favourite scent. I really like it. The next one is this Gucci Bamboo Perfume. This is the more intense one. So this is the um, Eau de Parfum. This is also a 30ml, I think. Yeah, so Jed got me this for Christmas. I absolutely love it. It smells just like a Caroline Herrera perfume that came out years and years and years ago that was a uh, limited edition. I love the bottle. I love the look of it. Love the smell of it. Lasts really well on my skin. Not much more I can say about it. I just think it's a really lovely perfume. Staying along the lines of scents, I've got um, a body wash here. So this is the Cause Santorini Vine Shower Gel. These are really expensive and I actually picked this up in Waitrose because they had a deal on to get it a bit cheaper. Um, I really, really like this scent. I think this smells so nice, really fresh. It's like a sophisticated kind of smell, a summery scent without it smelling like too fruity or because um, sometimes I think fruity smells can smell really artificial, but this is amazing I love it and this actually inspired Jed and I to book our holiday um, to Mykonos I know it's not Santorini we looked at Santorini first but um, yeah it kind of inspired us to look at kind of Greek islands for a holiday and when I use that now I love it and I'm thinking oh my god we're going on holiday in June and I can't wait literally guys I'm so excited about it the next thing I want to share with you is some artificial nails so I always used to get the stick on Broadway nails and my Super Dragon boots don't seem to be selling them anymore, which is really frustrating because I really, really loved those nails. But I decided to try these Kiss Broadway nails. Um, and I really like these. They're not quite as long as the Broadway ones that I used to get because they used to be really, really long and then I used to have to cut them down. These actually are at a length that I really like. But what I like about these is that you get 100 nails in here and it's a little bit more like the ones you get when you go to a nail salon because... They've got a lot more size variations, which I think is really good, but um, they're still about the same price. I think they're about £7 something, nearly £8. But I can get generally about three or four sets of nails out of this, which I think is amazing for that amount of money. So for a skin product, this month I've had the driest lips. I don't often get really, really dry lips because I'm constantly putting uh, my Carmex on or some lip balm on, generally when I wake up in the morning, after I've done my facial skincare routine, during the day, lunchtime, when I get home from work, again, when I take my makeup off, I do it, and then when again, when I go to bed. So um, they do stay quite hydrated, but this month in particular, for some reason, they've got really dry, even though I've been um, applying it the same amount of times as normal. And I'd been sent this ages ago. I think I got it in like a Love Me Beauty subscription or something. And it's the Pixie, it's actually the front of it's come off, but it was um, a Pixie Beauty one. This is the Lux Lip Exfoliator. It renews and smooths your lips. So you gently buff this. Suddenly I've just had Alexa start chatting in the living room. Um, sometimes she does that, guys. If any of you have got Alexa and she starts just rabbiting on every now and then, please let me know because... She's starting to play some music right now. Two seconds, guys. 
Okay, so she's stopped talking. Um, so then, yeah, so what I was saying was this, you gently buff over the lips. It's got um, a slightly unusual applicator, so it's actually got loads of little bumps just at the end. So you just squeeze it in, you work it around, and it just helps exfoliate the lips. So I've been doing that. Um, you do get quite a lot all around the outside of your lips as well, so I do just take that off because I don't want it creating like too many spots or anything around my skin. And then um, sometimes just before I go to bed, I put a bit more lip balm on, but I do find this takes off that kind of dead skin that you get, which I really like. So that has been a bit of a lifesaver really for me this month. Okay, so I'm going to move on to makeup now. I've got a few makeup products here that I've really been loving and that have been absolute staples for me throughout this month. So I'm going to stop, stop talking and just start sharing them with you. So one of them is, I will say, excuse how dirty all my makeup looks. I haven't had a chance to clean it lately. So, um, yeah. But all our makeup doesn't look as beautiful as it's meant to on like Instagram and Twitter. When I see people's makeup and makeup collections, I'm like, guys, how do you keep it that clean? Mine does not stay that clean all the time. Um, but one has is from this Revolution palette. So this is the Ultra Blush Palette Golden Sugar 2 Rose Gold. And what I've been loving is this one here. So this gold highlight here, I've actually got it on today. So I've just obviously got it along here on my nose and just on my cupid's bow. I literally am obsessed with it. It is the, um, the highlight that I go to constantly. I've really been loving kind of more warmer tones on my face, so a lot more bronzies, golds, and um, those kind of warm tones. So it's actually complemented um, all my different bronzes and stuff that I've been using really well. And these are only like six or eight pounds, something like that. So an absolute bargain. Sticking them with bronzes, the other thing has been the Hourglass Bronzer. So I think I mentioned this in my 2016 favourites. But this is the Ambient um, Luminous Bronze in Light. And it's just a tiny little one here. I absolutely love it. I think it's such a nice colour. It has got a slight shimmer to it as well, which I actually don't mind because I just think it gives a slightly more dewy, fresh, youthful look to the face, which I really like. And I just absolutely love it. Another product I've really been liking uh, as like a face product is the Makeup Forever HD High Definition Powder. So I got this again in a Love & Beauty subscription box absolutely ages and ages ago. And I didn't really use it when I first got it and now I've started to use it a lot more and I really, really like it. I think it really smooths my face. It's so fine. They are a micro finish powder so um, it's really, really tiny. Uh, it literally looks a bit like, like icing sugar is what I think it looks like, but I really like this. With the powder, I like to use this brush. So this is just from Blank, Cosme uh, Blank Canvas Cosmetics, and this is 501, which is obviously just a big powder brush. It's very short and chubby uh, and bright pink as well, which is cute. And then with the bronzer, I just thought I would show you this as well, which I think I've also shown before, is the Real Techniques Sculpting Brush. I actually have used a lot of these products in my everyday makeup routine video that I've done. So if you haven't seen that, I will link that down below for you guys so you can see how I've been using some of these products that I'm talking about. One of the things that has not changed, I would say, throughout the whole month, I've been doing the same eye look pretty much every single day now since I got this palette. So this is the Blank Canvas Cosmetics Master Series Palette 1, The Art of Perfection. And I am obsessed with this. This is by far my current favourite eyeshadow palette. I literally love every single thing about it. I love the colours in there. Um, it comes with a um, makeup brush, like an eyeshadow brush as well. So you've got an E40 and an E41. So you've got an eyeshadow shader brush and then you've got a blending brush at the end. And I use this and I just love it. I don't need to use any other one. I love the fact it also comes with a mirror. So if I'm travelling or anything, that's absolutely fine. Majority of it's matte. You've got one that's a bit of a shimmer, but they've got so many different colours in there. Really lovely warm tones. I I can't say enough things about it. I love the fact it's gluten-free, vegan, fragrance-free, paraben-free and not tested on animals. What more can you say about it? I think it's an absolutely amazing palette. Then the last makeup product that I've got here is something that Jed actually got me for Christmas. And this is the My Sign Leo by Revolution Eyeshadow Wheel. I wasn't entirely sure about all the colours in this because they are particularly dark. And I generally don't go that dark with my eye makeup. But I really liked the colour in the middle. And they have these two eyebrow powders. Now, I am shit at my eyebrows, guys. I'm absolutely shocking at them. They're so bad. They never turn out how I like them. And I've just come to accept it. And it's just something that I'm just going to have to live with is that I'm really, really poor at doing eyebrows. Saying that, though, I have been using these two colours here for my eyebrows lately since that pencil ran out. 
and I've actually preferred them. I think the shape of them looks a little bit better. They're not so pointy as they used to have like proper triangles going on with my eyebrows. They're a little bit, um, it's just a shape that they are when they're grown like that. So it's really difficult for me to change them without it looking too dramatic or too harsh. And I've managed to kind of draw them out a little bit more lately and I'm preferring them. And it's all from these colors. I've really liked working with them. I just used one of my Real Techniques um, like angled brushes and I just literally colour it through and it's made such a difference and I feel more confident about my eyebrows don't feel like my eyebrows being hung up by string anymore and yeah I can't imagine this would have been too expensive either because it's by Revolution I imagine it might have been something like £5 just under £5 so it's not going to be too expensive and yeah really impressed with that so moving on to my favourite YouTubers or bloggers, this month there's been two people I've been absolutely obsessed with, got major girl crushes on, that is Sarah Ashcroft, I think her channel is amazing, she looks amazing and I just really really like her channel and then the other one is Lydia so I will link both of those channels down below if you haven't checked them out I'm sure you already have but if you haven't then definitely go and check them out I think they've got awesome channels and they're both so beautiful as well but I hope you guys have enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you've liked it hit that subscribe button if you haven't and remember to share with everyone who your current favorite youtubers are or maybe some slightly smaller up-and-coming youtubers are as well because it'd be really exciting to discover some new ones this year and kind of help out some other youtubers so hope you guys are having a wonderful day stay positive and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys